got back from taking my last exam. And to be honest, I'm 50-50. I really feel I did well, but at the same token, some of the questions were confusing. Some of them were more, re it's more of a reading comprehension test versus, you know, science and math. And they had a couple of math questions and a couple of science questions. But overall, it was more reading comprehension. my forte. But when I was doing my Barron's test preparation, which I would suggest anybody who's taking the last exam or the ATSW or CST to get this book because it's all three of them in one and it's about 20 bucks. Um, after finishing the, you know, practice test, a lot of the questions that I did do were wrong. And that has to do with just basically the whole test, the way it's constructed. It's more of confusing questions. Sometimes you think you know the answer and you see the answers like staring at you in the page within the context. But then you look and it does not match what you wrote. And that's the problem I had with the um, preparation test. But um, I took the test today. Um, it was at Christ the King High School. Um, ample parking spot, which was amazing. And it was about four and a half to five hours to take the test. Started at 1.35 and I was out there by 4.22. Um, I feel like um, the essay part I did very well overall. It was more of a, you know, um, a argumentative es essay if you're for the specific topic, if you're against the topic. And I felt I did pretty well on that. I just, you know, have to wait. I won't know my results till about on 4th, I believe. And by then, I'll let you guys know if I pass or fail. If not, I will have to back to the truck, drawing board, redo everything again. So that's that with the test. I know a lot of you were, you know, wishing me good luck and asking how it went. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. This video actually is for a lip gloss review. I know I've never done one, but I have recently decided to start wearing a little bit of makeup. I'm really not a makeup, lip gloss, or any of those things kind of girl. I'm more of just lip balm, whatever. So um, <laughs> I went to the MAC store with my little sister who's a MAC connoisseur. She loves MAC. She'll spend her whole paycheck on, you know, um, palettes and blushes and foundations and lip gloss. And I think it's ridiculous, but that's her thing. So the color that I got is Crim Sheen Glass. You can see it. It's more of a goldish color, but when it's applied to the lips, it gives more of a sparkly glitter kind of foundation, I guess you can say. Um, this is what it looks like on the tip. And I'm going to put some on now. And you guys can get an idea what it looks like. And now I'm going to zoom. Let's see if you guys can get a clear. Can you see it? This is what the lip gloss looks like. And I am happy to say that I really like this color. Being that I am a dark skin diva. A lot of, you know, colors that MAC does make does not necessarily go well with my, you know, complexion. And when I spoke to the MAC representative who sold me this, she told me that, you know, a lot of dark skin sisters and dark skin, you know, women tend to go for this color just for the fact that it's not over the top. It's more of, you know, just making the lips shiny and you can see the glitter depending how you do it. She told me the best way to do it is to apply it. And if I want to get the glitter, I need to go deep inside. And she also said the best way to do it, what she does, is she uses a Q-tip and rubs the Q-tip within the top portion and bottom portion of her lips. And it gives the effect of you seeing the lip gloss and the glitter within it. So I really like this. And, you know, if you guys want to, you can check out the MAC store and find out, you know, the lip glosses and, you know, different makeup that they do have. I will be buying some makeup in a couple of days. I want to, you know, test it out, see how I like it, because I am getting rid of my glasses. I'm happy. Um, to be honest, I had contacts for maybe two years before deciding to just, you know, knock it out and get glasses. The issue that I was finding is my contacts were drying up, and it was just, just uncomfortable without the day, because I would wake up, put them in about 7 o'clock, and have them until 9 at night. 
And so in between that, I find myself applying Visine to keep the moisture moisturized. And at the same time, sometimes I'll fall asleep with them on, which was, I don't recommend anybody doing it. And one would pop out, one would stay in. I had, you know, episodes where one went up and the other one was, you know, rolling somewhere in my socket. So that was a scary experience. And then I had the six month, which is just one set. Then I had the disposable contacts. The disposable ones worked better for me, but I couldn't get the long wear out of them, meaning it was only good for about, they recommended it for three weeks. And to me, it just did not, you know, make sense to keep them. So I tried the six month one. The six month one ended up ripping a lot of times. And then I would have to get one. And it was just back and forth. And once you get one replaced, the other one is older and the one's newer. So it was more of like I said, you know what, let me just get some designer frames. And from there I bought my Gucci frames. I bought these um, Cavalli frames. I bought my Christian Dior's and I just was buying frames. But now it's to the point where um, designer frames are expensive. These that I got, actually my husband bought me for my birthday last year, they came up to $600 and that's just the frame itself and not the lens. And being that my vision is not 100% bad, I figured I'd do color contacts again. And I actually, being that I am natural now, I like the effect of, you know, not having the glasses and just, you know, resorting to them when necessary. Like, I can see right now, which is crazy. My vision is not terrible, it's more of, you know, just seeing far-sighted to see stuff clearer instead of squinting I rather the glasses so I decided to just get contacts and I'll let you guys know how that goes from um, the contacts that I had before were colored gray and it went perfect with me when I had the jet black weave and you know my hair was black but now that it's more of a brown hint I think I'm gonna be doing some form of a brown maybe brownish greenish kit I don't know we'll figure something out but I'll let you guys know how that goes Right now, I'm going to clean up. Um, I usually every weekend, you know, do a regimen of my hair and then cleaning. I'm going to wash my hair because my hair is disgustingly dirty. Like this, this morning I woke up. I did not. I actually no. I slept with my silk um, bonnet, but um, I didn't twist my hair or do anything. So it's right now. It needs a good washing and good detangling, and I'm going to do that. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I have another review for you guys. It's for the um, heat conditioning cap that I recently got. I have used it one time and I'm going to use it again tomorrow and I'll show you guys the benefits of it. While I have it on, I'll probably upload something and record something. I'm also going to be doing um, some new leave-in conditioners that I got. I don't know the names of them. i um, have to get it up tomorrow. I don't feel like I want to look at it, but some leave-in conditioners. And also I'll talk some more about the... Um, product that I'm working on. I know in my last video told you guys I wanted to, you know, try something out and, you know, come up with some form of a, a butter, body butter and a hair butter. That's going to be the first thing that I'll have, hopefully out by October, late October. So, I'll talk to you even later. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching, though. Don't forget to check out other things navigated in my channel, as well as sub, comment, and subscribe. See you later.